don't you? <sighs> no. Remember that woman on the tender? Who was sick all over you, and then fainted. Can someone pass the smelling salts? <laughs> <laughs> she was funny. And then when we got to Manhattan Island, you asked where the beach was. Don't. And we bought that shell from the gift shop. And we said every time we listened to it, we'd hear the traffic of New York. I'd give anything to see what it feels like again. To float. Take us in, Bill. Please. What? Push you into the water? No. Carry us in. You're off your chump, you. Well, no one else is going to. I don't think that's such a good idea. Go on. You can do it. I'll be with you. Could sell tea to a Chinaman. Bloody hell! Imagine how heavy I'd be if I had my legs. It's a good job I eat my greens. You can do it. Easy. In for a penny. Let me down. Go on. Now let go. Don't be soft. Go on. But you're not going to float, are you? Let me go. Naze, please. What? Billy. Hey. Let's do it. No. I should have died that night. If you care anything for me! What are you doing? What are you doing? No! Billy! Well, what good's drowning gonna do? I hate it! I hate not being able to do anything for myself! You're not going anywhere. No. Not unless you push me. Did you never want to die, Bill? No. Never. Drink your tea. And put sugar in it. Sweet tea's what you drink when somebody's died. Well, nobody's died, May, but you can't deny this is somewhat of a crisis. No. Now, obviously, you'll be wanting to get married as soon as possible, but it only takes three weeks to call the bands. Oh, yeah. Be great wedding. Can't wait. Would it help if I speak to the father, May? No, Father, it wouldn't help at all. I see. Well, you, you can't cope with this alone, May. At the very least, you should tell Iris. And... Iris? She'd kill me. And don't you go telling her either. I have no intention of telling anybody. Do you 
You need me to hand in my notice and write him, Father, or we'll just verbally do. Just verbally will be acceptable. Who are you taking tonight then, Frank? Maud Fluid. Oh, that's kind. Oh, look, if it isn't Douglas Fairbanks. He looks nothing like Douglas Fairbanks. He looks like your man, Richard Barthelmus, in Way Out East. Let's hope Queenie thinks so. Queenie wouldn't care if you looked like Buster Keaton. <laughs> so I think you're going with Frank, mate. It's not too late. Yeah, it is. I'm taking Maud Fluid. It's in the Victoria Hall. Father Melia wouldn't approve in any case, especially not with you working for him. I'm not working for him. I've just handed him a notice. You what? Well, unlike some people in this house, I intend to better myself. Come on. Yeah, let's get it over with, eh? It's better. I think that milk stout's gone to my head. Should we go for a walk? You know Kitty my life, Mila Street. Isn't she engaged to Ernie McVerry? Not a moment too soon from what I've heard. It's amazing what you pick up a course of tea Why, what's happened? Well, let's just say, her waters will be breaking six months after the wedding. She's no medical miracle, believe me. It's a good job Ernie's doing the right thing. Oh, no. Imagine if he wasn't. If he'd run away or something, I'd throw myself in the maze. Oh, don't. The shame of it. It's like knocking on a door. Shut up, it's me corset. Wait. What? Be careful. Make sure you get off of that, Jill. It's the last stop before Lime Street. <sighs> Oh, here is it. <laughs> Sorry. Too much to drink. You've only had two halves of better. I thought you'd have been making an evening of it. I've had about as much of an evening as I can stand. And I don't think I'll be caught in Queenie Higgs anymore. Well, I've seen her in action, down the picture house. She's a very blousy manner. I'm afraid your mother would have called her common. She lives two streets away. If she's common, we're common. Where you live, son. That's how you act, how you carry yourself. Now, you look at your sisters. Now, they might not have much money, and they might live a stone's throw from the likes of Queenie Higgs. But I am telling you now, son, every inch of them spells quality. Dada, if Queenie Higgs were the Queen of Sheba, I don't think I could get on with it. So, no days forcing your hand. When you find the one for you, you'll know it. I knew it. The moment I set eyes on your mother, I knew it. And we met in an ironmonger's shop. How did you know? 
I looked at her. 